Good morning. May we request all students to observe prayerful silence so we can begin. But in that silence, we also urge you to participate with the responses and the singing of the mass songs. I think we're ready. Good day. The church celebrates November 1 as All Saints Day, a special day of remembering those who have gone before us. We pray for those we remember, those who have passed away during this time of pandemic, and those who died unrecognized but lived their lives in the service of God, His people, and all His creations. The Jesuits also celebrate the Feast of All Saints and Blesseds of the Society of Jesus on November 5. In our Eucharistic celebration today, we will honor and pray for the memory of Paul Shu Guangqi, who died on November 8, 1633. He was a scholar, a government official in Shanghai, and a friend of the Jesuit missionary, Matteo Ricci. His invaluable support for the Jesuit missionaries led hundreds of thousands of native Chinese to convert to Christians and follow his example of spreading the word of God. Following the homily, we will have a Catholic rite of ancestor veneration. Through this rite, we honor, remember, and pray for our dearly departed and those who have died at the hands of the coronavirus using a combination of traditional Chinese symbols and Christian prayers. This rite also recognizes our community's unique Chinese Filipino heritage. By participating in this rite of ancestor veneration, May we be inspired by the good example of those who have gone before us to persevere in the midst of difficult and trying times. We also welcome to the community the first communicants and our grade three students who received the Sacrament of Communion last October 15, 2022.
presiding at our celebration this morning is Reverend Father Joseph Gia of the Society of Jesus. Joining him is our campus minister, Father Felipe B. Johan S.J. As one community, as one community united in mind and heart, let us raise our voices praising God. Let us all stand and join in singing our entrance song. of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who willed that your only begotten Son, having conquered death, should pass over into the realms of heaven, grant, we pray, to your departed servants that, with the mortality of this life overcome, they may gaze eternally on you, their Creator and the Redeemer. Through Christ, Lord Jesus, your Son, who lives, reign with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated and listen to the liturgy of the Word. reading from the book of wisdom but the souls of the just are in the hand of God and no torment shall touch them they seemed in the view of the foolish to be dead 
and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace, for if before men, indeed, they be punished, yet is their hope full of immortality, chastised a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace, he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation, they shall shine, and shall dart about as sparks through stubble. They shall judge nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with the elect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
stand to honor the gospel. Blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Have faith in God and faith in me. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. Otherwise, how could I have told you that I was going to prepare a place for you? I am indeed going to prepare a place for you. And then I shall come back to take you with me that where I am, you also may be. You know the way that leads where I go. Lord, said Thomas, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus told him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated and listen to the homily. Good morning, everyone. So, my, my dear friends, what's your trouble in life? Sorry to begin with such a heavy question. I know I sound like a troublemaker here. I promise you that I'm not one. I'm only asking this question because it is the starting point of our gospel reading today. Do not let your hearts be troubled. The presumption is that you have a trouble. You see, even Jesus in the gospel would like us to be clear about this question. I would say that Jesus is not the only one disturbing us with such question about life. In fact, many wise persons in human history have reflected a similar question. One of them is Confucius. He once said, Zhao Wen Dao, Xi Si Ke Yi. In translation, if a person in the morning hears the right way, he may die in the evening without regret. Sorry again, I'm not promoting death, but life. This saying of Confucius may cause confusion, especially to you who are very young. However, I think if we put together this saying of Confucius 
with the readings in the Mass today, we will come up with a better understanding. Confucius points out Tao, or the way, is more precious than this worldly life. The Book of Wisdom testifies that the faithful departed who have followed the way are abiding with God in love. They are resting in peace. No torment shall touch them. So that is beautiful. Jesus said in the Gospel that he is the way. So if Jesus is the way, certainly Confucius got it right. The Tao, the way, is much precious than our mortal life because the life in Jesus is eternal. If Confucius got Jesus right, I believe that our ancestors are not far from the truth. Both Matteo Ricci and Paul Xu Guangqi spent their lives to assist the Chinese getting closer to the truth, namely the Christian faith. I think that they are successful. The very existence of our school here at New Valley is the proof. Everybody here is the beneficiaries of their great foundational work in faith. They are the guides for Chinese to meet Christianity. To each individual family here, our guide to know faith is our ancestors. So, my dear students, can you tell me the faith journey of your family? I suggest that you ask your parents or grandparents about it. I hope next time when we meet, you can share with me the story of that beautiful encounter with faith. Especially to our first communicants. Please make sure Today, we will appear in your family story for the next generations. My dear civilians, please don't be afraid asking questions about faith. I'm sure that our ancestors did ask during their search for faith. Today, we are honoring them not just for what they have achieved at the end, but also what they have experienced along the way. To reveal their faith journey is to treasure and deepen our faith. In today's Gospel, we see how Thomas brought his question about faith to Jesus. And from the answer of Jesus, we realize that he is the way, the truth, and the life. If not Thomas' question, we may still don't have such a clear and concise knowledge about Jesus. At this point, if you are still not quite sure about the way and tr the truth and the life, have no worry. The responsorial psalm is ready to help. The image of the shepherd explains to us who Jesus is. The good shepherd takes care of the life of the sheep. He knows where to find water and grass. He protects the sheep from danger. And the good shepherd is the way for the sheep. When the sheep was young, the Good Shepherd is the way ahead so that the sheep will know where to go. When the sheep grown up, the Good Shepherd is the way around so that the sheep has the freedom to explore. When the sheep getting old, the Good Shepherd is the way behind 
so that the sheep won't get lost on the way home. The good shepherd loves his sheep. He knows what is really good for the sheep. He leads them in truth, not in falsehood. I believe that each of our ancestors has played the role of a good shepherd to our families. I guess that is why God places each one of us in a loving family. We don't deny that our families are imperfect. Now it's our turn to improve it. We know our ancestors had tried their best in their way to give us the best they can. The life of our ancestors is the presence of Jesus incarnate in each of our families. And they have followed the way faithfully in their times. Let us not be troubled about life because our ancestors have experienced all of it before us. And now they are with God in eternal happiness and joy. Let us today give thanks to God for this special love and care to each one of us. At the same time, we also show our deep gratitude to our ancestors who have been the instrument of God's love for us. They are God's way, truth, and life personified for us in our life. We shall now have the right of ancestor veneration. Please stand straight as a mark of respect. Now we will venerate our ancestors. They are godly persons whose virtues have not been forgotten, and for all time their glory will never be blotted out. Their bodies are peacefully laid away, but their name lives on and on. At gatherings, their wisdom is retold and the assembly proclaims their praise. The incense is now lighted.
The flowers are now offered. The wine is now offered. The fruits are now offered. God wills that remember our ancestors and honor the memory of our deceased relatives and friends. Let us now ask our Heavenly Father to bless them in paradise. Let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. But lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us also beg the intercession of our Holy Mother, Mary, that she may pray for their eternal happiness. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Finally, let us pray the glory be for them, that they may join the saints in the heavenly kingdom and together sing the praises of the Holy Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Now, at each sound of the gong, we shall render the three ceremonial bows to revere our ancestors. Please remain standing for the prayer of the faithful. Brothers and sisters, God has commanded us to honor our parents and remember our ancestors. Today, as we remember them with gratitude, we also pray to our Heavenly Father for them. For each petition, we will pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our church leaders. May God inspire their minds and hearts and guide them in serving the His people with benevolence and care. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our world leaders. May they be guided by the Holy Spirit so that they will place national interest at heart and make choices that benefit the people. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have fallen asleep in hope of the resurrection. May God's mercy bring their souls to heaven, where they will see Him face to face forever. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our families. May God keep them safe always amidst the pandemic. And may He continue to guide them in making the best decisions for the good of the family. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick. May God nurture them to health and give them the courage to persevere in their journey toward full recovery. Let us pray. 
Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Savior community. May they be safe from any form of harm and persevere in providing quality education amidst the challenges of the high flex modality. May they be inspired always to let their light shine as men and women for others. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our other personal needs and concerns. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, you are the good, you are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the God of our ancestors. Hear the prayers of our big family, and let all our ancestors rest peacefully in your bosom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the presentation of gifts.
please rise. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, on the sacrificial offerings be present to you for the souls of your servants, and just as you have bestowed on them the dignity of Christian faith, grant them also its reward. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For even though by our own fault we perish, yet by your compassion and your grace, when seized by death according to our sins, we are redeemed through Christ Jesus' victory and with him called back into life. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. your right hand over your heart as a sign of prayerful reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Bonaventura, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Apostles, with Saints Ignatius of Loyola, Francis Xavier, Peter Favor, all the Jesuits in heavenly glory, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Put down your hands. At the Savior's command and formed by the one teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
let us now place our right hands over our hearts as a sign of prayerful reverence. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. You may now put down your hands. Please be seated. We will now invite the first communicants and parents to line up first in the center aisle to receive their first communion.
communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please all rise. Let us pray. Through these sacrificial gifts which we have received, O Lord, bestow on your departed servants your great mercy and to those you have endowed with the grace of baptism, grant also the fullness of eternal joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us remain quiet as we flash on the screen the names of offices and people who have helped make our Mass possible. Let us now hear a few words from our, from our school campus minister, Father Felipe B. Johan Jr. of the Society of Jesus. Please be seated. Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, yes, good morning. So Father Ari, our school director, was not able to join us today because uh, Savior San Juan also celebrated the Mass for the ancestors simultaneously with us. Um, what we just did, uh, remembering our ancestors, is part of our culture, not only as Savior School, but as, for us Christians. No? Remembering, not forgetting our ancestors. Um, have you seen the movie Coco? Yes, yes. In that movie, the message is also the same. No? We do not forget our ancestors. They are part of our community. We are a communion of saints. Our, as our catechism teaches us, not only those saints, the well-known saints, but even our loved ones who have passed away, we remember them because they are also together with us, helping us and guiding us. And so with that uh, message, no, as uh, Savior School, so one of the six C's we are living out, we are strengthening our culture. Another C is our strengthening our community. So I would just like to thank each and every one who um, joined in this celebration of the Holy Eucharist. And most especially, we would like to thank our presider for today, Father Joseph Gia of the Society of Jesus. You know, he is a newly ordained priest very young, so we continue to pray for him. But first, let us thank him. Father Joseph, thank you. Wow, you have a lot of fans. <laughs> and also, we're happy to welcome back some of the students who were on, on, online before, no? and now, we see them on campus. Welcome back. And so once again, good morning and thank you, everyone. Please stand for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the God of all consolation bless you, for in his unfathomable goodness, he created the human race, and in the resurrection of his only begotten Son, he has given believers the hope of rising again. Amen. 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 To us who are alive, may God grant pardon for our sins, and to all the dead, a place of light and peace. Amen. 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 So may we all live happily forever with Christ, whom we believe truly rose from the dead. Amen. Amen. And may the blessings of Almighty Father, the God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen.
Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Let us all sing our recessional song. Okay, please be seated for a while.